Alright, it's the next day now. Um, for once I'm recording at a time where <laughs> there's still daylight out. A bit hard to never winter to be honest. Um, I've been listening to this song for a bit here uh, while setting up the audio and whatnot. My goodness, I like this song. I'm a victim to a claim for something much better character investigation company or sham. Kind of forgotten his voice, we'll never know. Obviously, he's in for your end, and there's the money behind me. Just added. If she was a member of the PI scene, then you should have been familiar with her. Well, I'm not afraid she's talking to us about it, you know. That's what I read between methods, or do I know what for basis, you see? Personally, I didn't really know her that well, you know. So you're saying you weren't very familiar with the victim? Oh, that's right, I didn't even know about the burn mark on Brain's hand, you see. You didn't know about the burn mark? Well, you're saying, even if I had gotten close to her, she would have disappeared so. <laughs> Why the fuck this dude can't. Can't give those slips away. It's important to remember some point, you know. But Rondo just can't disappear, you see. <laughs> the amount of Freudian slips from this dude is stunning. In other words, anyone who defines him disappears. I would like you to have your next statement about, about the victim's burn to your testimony. I was only just knowing that she had a burn mark on her hand, you see. So you're saying that you didn't know about the victim's burn? Is that really the truth? You really are persistent, you know. If you really think I would pay attention to every little one of a woman's hand. I don't think the burn mark on the victim's hand would be hard to miss. Now that you mention it, Teela Crane would record only wear gloves. I too did not know about the burn until the incident occurred. So you can't recommend the work the lungs. I thought so, I was probably trying to hide the burn mark, you see. I understand how sensitive people are going to be about these things, you know. <laughs> I would like you to add your so-called sensitive understanding of a woman to your testimony. <laughs> I'm sure I'm always wearing gloves in order to hide the burn mark, you know. So, you were, all, you were aware that she always wore gloves? Well, aware. Those gloves were practically her trademark, you know, you see. Well, I guess they were just a fashion statement. She went to hide her burn mark, you know. I wonder if that girl over there is also hiding something under her branches. Oi, oi, oi. Huh? I mean, I'm not hiding anything. I think you are, you know. You're hiding at the face of a criminal. All those words should be directed at someone like you. I shall expose here and now the face of a true caper criminal. I forgot how to, to pronounce the word criminal for a second. <laughs> how amusing. Go ahead and try it if you think you can. So, Jill Crane regularly walk last. Well, that's interesting. I should look over the evidence one more time. Really? Right. It's, not like, it's not like I had a motive to murder her, you know. Was there any, if there any trouble between you two over work? <laughs> Unlike the, you know, it's kind of important, don't you see? I got a report saying that she was exceedingly capable. But you know, our social status was completely different, you know, you see. So we didn't talk much, you know. Well, that may be true, but it doesn't prove that you didn't kill her. Better person, better this dude on. I mean, look at you. You're taking a shot of a criminal. It seems Miss Green was the one who had an interest in you, Mr. Chairman. Oh no, that really is a mystery. I haven't the faintest to hear, you see. So that's that. Since I had no idea for your reasoning, doesn't work, you know. I have no idea why she was pursuing me, you see. So you have no clue. Why the victim has been, has been pursuing you? No, not in the slightest, you know. That's because Baptist is a handsome man. <laughs> sure, you know. Women are 
Siempre fue me pero yo soy peor. Yo soy peor, tan Voy a peor. <risa> you guys could never have my buffs level of awesomeness. It would certainly be impossible for a normal person. Having people up here and then physically disappear on a daily basis. Not doing a voice right. Right then, my big motor is going to disappear too. Before that happens, I'll see to you. your real life disappears today. I swear, I swear. Then I should finish it before the day's over. <laughs> I will have to organize more information about the victim. If there's anything, if there's anything you don't understand, you should look over the evidence again. Perhaps you will find new facts this time around. Kind of forgot your voice. Francisco, you're willing to help me? I told you, I'm doing this for Kay Faraday, not here. Francisca seems to be worrying about Kay in her own way. Okay, so information about the victim. Gloves her. That's really she that refers to her Kay, in case, uh... Vincent being here is really interesting. It's evidence. The of course, the red button of her son, or Gustavio's son. When there's a day of the ancient regular visit at Mr. Mansion's mansion. <laughs> at least one of them will have to come up at some point in the story, and they would be roughly at words 8 right now, right? Huh. 
anything here. Personally, probably now. You just learned that she had a pearl monocle on her hand. Is there any way for us to disprove that? I mean, you said you read the out of your report, but just doesn't means that it means that he, uh, he could still me he could just mean post mortem. The man's word that he's the conductor, so it doesn't mean much. Okay, what am I missing here? So you were aware that you always wore clothes. All the way, those clothes were back to her trademark, you see. I guess they, they weren't just fashion statement, she meant to hide her back, her back, you know. I thought that the girl out there was also hiding something under her pants. Huh, I'm not hiding anything. I think you are, you know. You're hiding the face of a criminal. Those were so be dark if you were that someone like you. I still expose you're not the face of a true criminal. <laughs> I'm using her. Go ahead and try if you think you can. So much you'll come in for the work loss. That's interesting. I should cover the evidence one more time. <sighs> what does that end up meaning? Sure, she's not wearing them here, but they already established that these clothes were put on her post mortem. We established that already, so that's not. To be fair, she wasn't wearing the gloves when uh, she got blood on her hand. What does that worth? Could we try that? No, but basically now the recording we already knew that, that they weren't wearing Burmark. The gloves because the person might be able to see the Burmark. Yeah, it's not, not, it's not. Lost in this piece of evidence, create a contradiction in your testimony. I, 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 I am having trouble with some of the testimony in this case. Mm, I wonder, what do you think, Sebastian? I don't really understand, but I don't think so. You know, right, you know, right, that's what I was thinking as well. Uh, what's with this father and son talk to him? Mr. Ice, but it's fine, why don't we just give up? Oh, come on, okay. Okay, it's still much too early to give up. I will definitely prove your innocence. Mr. Ice, but... Maybe it's what, I just bought something to this. It's what gives us about the gloves, but. Hmm. I forget what the current theory is. The, is. the current theory is that this is her. Yes. Never yeah, can go very good. Is this? Right. I'm a consult feature in this game. <laughs> uh, what am I? Oh, I'm looking here. 
I think my problem is that I'm getting too far ahead of myself in thinking of connecting to the pieces of evidence, connecting to the dots. I keep forgetting what has already been established in the game and what I've just theorized in my head. <laughs> I just turned the shadow bear back in hand when I hand you see. The key to cards don't say anything about you needing to not work on us or anything. It doesn't mean much in your ways. I can just learn to He's arguing that he didn't. He couldn't. Hang on. Why is he arguing about this anyway? What, what, what were we talking about before? Why, why is he arguing that he doesn't know no, about the wound? I don't remember why he's saying that. <sighs> he's arguing that he can He can't be the killer because he didn't know about. Her burn mark. I said, this is where I see the audio clip about her burn mark. Unless the contradiction is supposed to be the fact that, he, he, unless I'm overlooking it and he said mean, he just learned it, does mean he's contradicted with the fact that he actually learned it an hour ago or something. I, I, I don't think that would be it, surely. When he's me, he says just that he in the post module. That's the only relevant part. He's claiming that he didn't know about it while she was still alive. Was she... was Jill investigating into this? She might be investigating into this, but... Oops, there she is. What did I click? <sighs> no, we knew she... we know she was not wearing her gloves at the time. That doesn't prove anything. String queens and blood were found on the hood. Okay, so just because we know. about the burn mark, unless it's about the motive, her, her, her motive to murder her, in which case. Th that people are considering how most of the testimony is about the burn mark anyways. Santa Gava was not hurt after what we already used that. Again, this only kind of sh shows that, who, that whoever murdered, murdered her would would have known about her hand burn mark, but doesn't have a direct connection to him. What am I looking over? Yeah, it can. That's not it. I, I believe it was in the skin at least, but that's not. It has got to have been something about the burn mark, not, not that statement. It looks 
Mr. The best economy is likely or hasn't he? Was that new dialogue with him? Indeed, he probably feels a lot more confident with his father bringing him up. However, I will break through that confidence of the best father and son too. Huh? No more puns coming now. Oh shit, there was a one more statement here. It, it, it better not be the fucking IS-17. Stop it, me. We need to be we need to be our health. Okay, let's go. I did press this one right, totally. So you have no clue what the victim was pursuing you? Nope. I just thought you were sure, you know. Yeah, this one. Right now, <laughs> we've been stuck. <sighs> what am I missing for the evidence? Mm -hmm. You want to learn that she had to work my work in her hand. Let me search all the training clouds now to hide the burn marks now. So I never checked about, about anything about the missing horn because I thought that what they were gonna have to check. The left horn is missing. Although I am curious as to the so whereabouts of the missing horn. Even if we were to find it, repairing it would be no easy task. We can play back the audio that was recorded by this twisting this horn. Okay, kid. I know you live in Hattelwald, you can't have that burn for me. Silence, ah, I've been waiting for my chance to get to events all this time. Ah! Yeah, that doesn't really help us. Is the fact that she wasn't brain dead during this point? Objection! Yes. She's... See, I got, since I couldn't remember the audio, I thought that maybe this person took, ripped the, ripped the, pulled the gloves off of them or something. That's the same person I got. With the, you can tie those burn marks for me. So, made me think that they would have taken off the other person's gloves. Yes, Jill Crane, the record I live wore gloves. If that is true, then it creates a huge contradiction. Oh, but. Uh, now I figured that wh whoever recognized her burn mark was the also the one who caused the burn mark in the first place. S since, you know, he has a fight, right, because he has a, no, no, a kind of a fire theme going on, and we're talking about the burn mark, I figured that he would have been the person who originally even caused the burn mark, so... I didn't think about it from that angle. From the, from, from the angle of... Uh, Anyone should, people shouldn't be able. Anyone shouldn't be able to figure out. No, no, no about the burn mark. Unless she was always wearing gloves. I. Oh, a huge contradiction, you say? I would like you to listen to the voices recorded on this stuffed animal one more time. I know you can't hide that burn from me. Silence, ah. Uh, I've been waiting for my chance to get revenge all this time. Ah! We were under the impression that this was the moment when the victim was murdered. I knew who, right, who, we are, who, who you were right away. You can't hide that burn from me. Right, right, right away, not right. Meaning that they would have. The moment they saw them, they would have known who, who she was, not. Not that they figured it out right at that, that moment. We thought that this statement was said by the culprit. Excuse me. Isn't that fine? What's the problem, you know? 
Hmm, well, there is a huge problem with that. If the victim had been wearing gloves from the start, it would have been impossible to see the burn on her hand. Objection! Well, I've got off very easily, though. She would have taken the off to the auction. But that's... That's not true. Miss Green had been wearing her gloves when, when I took her place. When I took her place. She must have been, must have been very afraid then before she was murdered. What are you saying? Well, you, don't you understand the position you're in? I... I'm not scared anymore. I have Granny here with me. Please, your day of reckoning has finally come. Somehow, it seems like you all want to disappear. Permanently. The only one who will disappear in here is you, Blaze, the best. Hey, how dare you say that the pups? Does the very mal is the burn mark was visible or not? Objection. I'm definitely confused as to where this is going. It certainly does matter. If the burn mark was visible, then we would have a complete turnabout of the situation. Uh, what are you saying? The victim's burn mark wasn't visible. What exactly does that tell you? The culprit also had the burn mark. Oh! The culprit also had the burn mark. Could that be the tattoo thing we talked about? But I presume it's on the chin based on the map. Masks or so what they're showing it. A blade having a burn mark is, is not much of a bar thing, in a sense. <laughs> Sebastian, turn your way of thinking around. If the victim was wearing gloves, then her burn mark would not have been seen. In that case, whose burn mark was, was seen? Someone else has burn mark. Precisely, the culprit must have had a burn mark as well. In other words, I knew you were right away, you can't hide that burn from me. The person who said this was not the culprit, but the victim. And now that's interesting, I think that's very interesting. I didn't see that coming from... Coming at all. If I should have, based on the fact that the, they're using... Audio distortion devices, and that hadn't come up until now in, any, in anything but the fact that we couldn't tell who, was, who had said that with... That I should not be able to recognize the voice of the culprit, presumably. Objection. That's interesting. Sebastian, could you please step aside? Edgeworth, all your reason up until now has just, was just a figment of your imagination, you know. The culprit had a burn mark. Where was it, you know? If you can't answer that, then your logic doesn't hold up, you know. Where was the culprit's burn mark? I wonder, I wonder where the burn mark could have been. During the auction, wasn't everyone wearing a disguise? Indeed, during the auction, everyone should have been represented in a particular way. If the burn mark was still visible under those conditions, then... No, no, I don't just show us. Where was the culprit's burn? You don't have to show me what to prove, you see. I can't say that it's in a spot where you can see the mask. It's, like, it's gonna be the testimony from over here, right? <laughs> What's... what testimony was... We have, a we have a testimony about the fucking tattoo or something. Wait. Somebody gave us testimony about... Oh. There's a face of the two. It was what the conductor was wearing during the auction. In other words, the outfit you were wearing at the time. <laughs> what 
not gonna figure out the Frank Rose at all. The conductor had been wearing a white suit, white gloves, and a mask. He just, he said that I had covered up most of his skin. However, according to Miss Jensen's testimony, the, conduct, the conductor's mask exposed a small part of his face. In addition, when what she thought th there had been a tattoo there, it's possible that she simply mistook that burn, the burn mark for a tattoo. Bam, act on his face. Objection. That's your face. Scintillating, but I'm afraid you're excited of getting excited over nothing, you know. No, so please, I see members have any burn marks on their faces, you see. Naturally, I think it was me as well, you know. Ah, but perhaps the best knows about something. Yep. But Sebastian, could you please be quiet? If you're an idiot, then act like one, you know. Normally, Sebastian is a nuisance to everyone around him. But this time, I will have my gratitude. That reaction from Blaze. This is Onsan. He reveals truth clear more clearly than anything else. Thanks to him, I am confident that my reasoning is correct. I know who that unidentified, uh, who that unidentified piece of evidence belongs to. Pardon? I wonder what's wrong with that persecutor. Usually, Sebastian is always more right at the truth than anyone else. However, this time he has probably figured it out. His own father. He's a criminal. Since he knows the truth, he's in pain, isn't he? If he didn't know the truth, he could have remained blissful in his ignorance. Okay, we are here in order, to in order to pursue the truth. It doesn't matter what path my reasoning takes. The important thing is to arrive at the truth. Once before, when I lost my faith in my reasoning, you said that, said that to me and showed me the way. When was that? This time, I shall show you the truth. You are innocent. I... I also want to know the truth. Mr. Edgeworth, please tell me. Yes, that's the spirit. <laughs> that's impossible, you know. For all of you. I mean, I just where could I have possibly have, some, have a burn mark? It's not much to be fun, you see. There's no evidence to put that I'm the culprit, you know. Oh, how, is this, how is this stupid enough to wear a mask that doesn't specifically doesn't cover something like that? No, that's not right. That's a contradiction at all. There's no way that that can be a contradiction. Not from my boss. Sebastian, I understand why you don't want to admit it. However, if you avert your eyes from the truth, you will regret it forever. Perhaps I just watch that down. I really wonder why you're such an idiot, you know. Sebastian, if you really want to save me, I'll just try a little bit harder, you see. Could I use your head, you know? Honestly, you really are a useless idiot. No way! But uh, I tried really, really hard, I tried my best, Pops. Why just call you dummy to guard away the top of my glass, just like a dummy do? Uh. Money was exchanged there, goodness. <laughs> but look at this jacket. Only someone who graduates at the top of this class gets to wear it. I did everything you told me to. That's how I got to be the best at the academy. I even for all those awards, just so quite to be like you, pops. Definitely mad, uh, your kind of vibes from this. Such an idiot, you know. Like the point where Hyo can always tend to be like a completely recycled character. <laughs> In order of course, stars to get on your tests, I met the team just in the deal. <laughs> all the speech and debate contest, all of them to the judges were my friends. You know, Sebastian, if you weren't even able to notice something like that. You really, you're really not worthy of being called my son, don't you think? <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, here my son has disappeared. 
Oh my, it's enough to make me cry, you know. <laughs> River Strange best for me, and yet, he was totally useless, you know. You are a truly despicable person. As the chairman of the PNC, and as a father. And as a father. You and I feel sorry about that foolish prosecutor. Oh, Mr. Prosecutor. Please, the best. You, just what do you think of your own son? You're just useless pawn, you see. Oh no, maybe you should look into me before you criticize me, you know. I mean, even you. Oh, you also used Sebastian to get close to me, didn't you? I cannot deny that. However, he's not a mere pawn. He always tries to do his very best, even if the results are up to par. I've seen just how hard he tries, and yet he refuse to even acknowledge it. Objection! <laughs> that good is no good, you say, no matter what it does. Oh, it's, it's tough to do. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I shall leave this offering to the goddess. This of law to you. Deliver her divine judgment against Blaze the best. Yes, that was my intention from the beginning. If there was a burn mark on the conductor's face, then place the best must be hiding it. What was he wearing during the auction? That is the key to revealing the truth. We don't have that mask in our organizer for some reason. Well then, allow me to hear your answer. Please would be surveillance to prove the culprit had a burn mark on his face. Excuse my ass. You mean other than the doll that we just presented? I'm surprised at the fact that uh, K had a mask and that this stuff is mixing missing mask has never come up. I mean, it came up in the fact that uh, he's been basically admitting to planting it on her already as an extra evidence. The cops had a pearl mark on his face. They took up, took the, took up one of the mask away, which would, have, which would show, which would be allowed us to regard what part of his face it wouldn't cover. Maybe I don't. Hmm. Like, what? What do you mean other than the, the doll right now? I'm not confused by this one. the best, even if you do not understand. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I also do not understand. Oh, this is, so is this isn't the proof. There's one clear difference between the conductor and place. The beard show, but what, what, what the fuck? Do, do we have, we don't, we, the wig that's there isn't, wasn't his color, surely. Yes, 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 yes. One clear difference is the face of the hair, sure, but nothing this uh, no. I thought that the wavy wig was black and the straight and the, the straight hair was brown. I thought the, I got the impression that the wavy wig was said to be black, although this doesn't say anything about it. I got the idea that the way we could be for um, possibly in person in the game. Maybe it was never mentioned that it was black. Maybe I got the idea just because Take I thought of K. Probably. If you will recall Miss Jensen's testimony, there's still one point that remains unexplained. As I said, the hardest part of me is remembering what, what was said and what I just 
thought in my head. <laughs> I thought it was meant said that the, the wavy one was black. I, I thought that one of them was black and one of them was brown. And obviously, one for impersonating the victim would have been brown since they don't have black hair. Well, I guess neither of them were black. Which I also got confused when they said that that maybe it was, maybe it was in case they had changed the hairstyle. Was the dial Why did I think I found it was black? <laughs> Two types of wigs have been prepared, and one of which that was left unused. Do you mean the baby wig? What are you talking about? It was something misjudged upon her, and she was with place with the victim. And that does sound like that has to do with the fair. Inside the costume, Dark Miss Jensen witnessed two weeks. One of them had been used by Miss Jensen to make her look like the victim. Now then, just what was the other week used for? It doesn't seem like it was a spare week. There's no need to overthink it. Just compare the attire of the true culprit, the conductor, with that of Place the Vest. Don't, don't stress me like that. <laughs> don't, don't you think there's just one spot where there's a huge contradiction? Specifically, around his face. So that's... No week at all. Indeed, it was no week. Blaze the best, it was your fake beard. <laughs> this is... a real beard, you know. Don't taste me like that at first. Your son must have realized the truth before anyone else. That's why he was trying to this to protect you. You were also worried that he would tell the truth. Isn't that why he you throw your son away from here? Because he knew that his father was hiding a burn under his fake beard. <laughs> Place the best. How about you remove that fake beard of yours? We still haven't even used part of the evidence, are we? Was it much quicker? Was that hard boy? Goodness. The skull saved. Burn, goodness. Ah, a burn mark! Prosecutor Edgeworth, justice has been pursued before the goddess of law. For that, I give you my thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Face the best, I hereby announce my verdict. You shall be taken into custody for the murder of Jill Crane. This is the fourth case. I'm sure this case came as three, five cases. That is very final. Feels very final, as of ways. Except we still don't know anything about the assassination of the president of Singh Far, of course. Mr. Edsworth, thank you very much. I'm so happy that you believed me in, in, to the very end. There's no need to thank me as a prosecutor. No, as a friend, I simply wanted to save you. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I bring, I bring good tidings. It seems that former Turban the Best has been safely detained in a detention center. However, the search for the murder weapon, the auction gavel, continues. Place the Best is a shrewd man. There is a good sense that he always disposed of it. Burned. There is also one piece of testimony that concerns me. Which one was that? Place the best mentioned that the only thing he did not fake were the letters. What do you mean? That's possible. I, if there's one thing that Kay wanted back, it would be uh, uh, probably her her promise notebook, which we don't have any evidence. What do you mean? First, he found this letter in Jill Crane's house. He also found his letter on Kay, who was unconsciously in the storeroom. The contents of the letter seem to suggest that the two had been corresponding with each other. Which is why they the best assumed that the two were working together. Ridiculous, that can't be right. Is that con is, is the promise that was gonna be how Kay reminds her memory? Because it's a memory back. Did you get to see it all with you or not? I don't remember what happened to it. 
After reading the two letters, he decided to paint the crime on Kay Faraday. In order to cast suspicion on her, he planted one of the letters in a noticeable spot. As you see, Zeal grinds the left breast pocket. Isn't that just a excuse? Yes, that's what I thought as well. It may have simply been a last ditch effort to save himself. However, before the stern eyes of the goddess of law, he saw all trivial matters. His crimes shall certainly not go unpunished. My friends, I have finally fulfilled one of my long last standing missions. Judge Courtney, will you tell me what you know? Why did Blessed Best murder the crane? And what place is them behind this case? Yes, I don't mind. You have the right to know everything. This character is strange. Long ago, Jill the Crane was in love with a cameraman. Uh, word? That man was pursuing the black market auction as a journalist. And then, before he could reach the truth, he was erased. The feeling and the, and the items Miss Crane inherited from her beloved brought her to the auction. She had come to exact the rents from the conductor. Place. Although in the end, she was with the one who was murdered instead. I see, so that's what happened. While the, god, while the goddess of law cannot un condone her actions, he has succeeded in her goal of bringing place the best crime to the light. So, Judge Courtney's goal was to expose place the, place the best and reveal the dark secrets of the PIC. Um, by the way, what happened to, your, to the young prosecutor? We have been unable to contact him for some time now. Do you have any ideas where he might be? I had not been truly really working for him, so... I see. I feel very sorry for him. But you should be very sorry, sir, is the fact that he was kept in the dark until now. No matter how cruel the reality is, he will have to accept it. If he can't, he won't be able to walk his own path in life. Ever. A father's influence is not something that is easily raised. However, I'm sure he will be able to change from here on out. Guessing he's gonna be relevant in the fifth case, somehow. Yes, that's right. Surely you must be right. Will I to be able to walk my own path in life? Okay, is you okay, is Okay, is your body alright? Yes, thanks, thanks to you. I'm so sorry, even though you're my patient. You ended up getting suspected because of me. Ow. You can just, you can just take care of the patient, buddy. You're gonna get taken by heart, too. That's my granny. Okay, how are your memories? I feel like I'm on the verge of remembering something. Well then. I shall take my leave here. Uh, uh, aren't you? Never mind. I will be presiding over Patricia Rowland's trial. Right, Patricia Rowland. That would be the trial for the murder of Horace Knightley. Who's in charge of the defense? Miss Crane was supposed to be her defense attorney, but now that she has passed away. Right. We are currently arranging for a replacement defense attorney. Why is this being mentioned right now? It's gonna be relevant in this case. Jill Crane had been in charge of Patricia Rowland's defense. Interesting. I'll also have to get in contact with Sebastian quickly, since he's the prosecutor in charge. Well then. He's the prosecutor. I was about to say that maybe, uh. It's, it's possible that Blaze wanted, wanted Patricia to be sent as guilty, but if you also, if you had Seb Sebastian as prosecutor in charge, which, I mean, I, mean, I should have known that since he, he was straight up mentioned during the case too, too obviously. Um. Making him the prosecutor makes it seem like he didn't want 
didn't want the culprit to be found. Who knows? Well then. Ah! Please wait. What about Mr. Edgeworth's ba prosecutor's badge? What will happen to his prosecutor's badge? With the chairman's arrest, the PIC is no longer functional. So I cannot answer that question easily. Perhaps one could say, only the goddess of law knows. Again, this music or This was... Her villain mu music, though. So that's the we want to play. But that's... You don't need to worry about me. This is the path that I have, that I have chosen. It seems you have no plans to change it either. Of course not. I chose this path to seek the truth. With the departure of place the best, the law has once again returned to our hands. If you truly desire to continue the prosecutor's path, I am willing to assist you in reclaiming your badge. I appreciate the sentiment, but I must must decline. I did not really wish my badge with the half hard with half hearted feelings. I see. It seems that our paths of love will continue to run counter to each other. <laughs> Until our paths cross once again, I shall have you hold on to your onto that badge. That was my intention from the start. However, on occasion, the goddess of law is quite generous. Please return this notebook to its proper owner. Okay, now here comes Kay's memories. Kay's promise. Kay's promise notebook. It seems they was scheduled to be up without forbidding at the black market auction, and that's what. Again, that's what Jill was trying to get. That was her name, right? The name K is written on the notebook. It seems Blaze the Best quickly realized this belonged to the girl. Since the letters he found also contained the same name. You speak as if you if really did not, did not know about the letters. Are you, are you saying that Blaze really did not prepare the letters himself? Yes, that man said so himself. K Faraday's goal was to steal back the notebook. Still Crane's goal was to get revenge. In order to achieve their goals, the two teamed up to infil infiltrate the auction. Or so he says. Unfortunately, this was all places misunderstanding. It was purely a coincidence. If the attorney from the PIC and Grave really were acquaintances, it would be strange that she never mentioned it to me, considering her personality. <laughs> you really do trust her, don't you? In the end, the notebook was used as another red herring. But... It's something that is very important to that girl, isn't it? I'll make a special exception and return it. I'm sure that's what the goddess of all desires. But that's, um... I appreciate it. I shall pray that she recovers her lost memories. And she's about to. It's just, that's for really intact, surely. It's too cliche to not go like that. Um, is something wrong? Okay, I am returning something very important to you. Hey. This is a good house, man. Ah, this is... Yeah. Always greet people with a smile, even people you don't know. Never cry in front of strangers. Look, Daddy, I brought them all down! <coughs> oh god, <laughs> not that time. Yep, I promise to follow all, you, all, of, all of our promises and become a hero just like you, Danny. Ah, that's right. There was one more. I forgot to write down the most important promise. Promise number five. Always try your hardest to learn about things you don't understand. <laughs> I'd be sure to remember. I'll never ever forget them. It was, it was too cliche not to happen. Always try your hardest to learn things you don't understand. That's my time. I am. That, that's really uncomfortable to forget. It's really a lot, lot like uh, one of the Brad Fisher Rowland sprites, isn't it? The great thief who sweet steal the truth. Gay Faraday. I'm the second Yadikazu and Mr. Edward's assistant. Ah, it goes. Okay, you remember? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, though. Thank you so much. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Edgeworth. 
Even though I lost my memories, you were still always trying to save me, right? <laughs> it seems you're back to normal. Wow, okay, you've gotten better. Your health comes first. Now you can relax. Just make sure you don't run off and lose any memories again. Ah, Miss Jensen, Dr. Young, thanks for bringing about me. Hey, if you're feeling better, how about chasing back into your own clothes? I must have lunch for you, okay? There's a nice clean. These clothes, wasn't Detective Gumshoe holding onto them? Where is Gumshoe for... Why is Gumshoe not here for this? He, he said the forensics of us done with them, so he gave them back to me. How them have they revealed the results of the analysis yet? Hang on, what were you analyzing? To be honest, I actually didn't think things think to ask about that. Now, now, more importantly, let's hurry up and get to change, okay? Hmm, still, isn't it better if we do not remove our bandages? Ah, she should be fine now. Kate just bumped her head, she didn't really have any other major injuries. The fuck is the full body bandages? Then, why was she so heavily bandaged? Better safe than sorry, a band of, band of prevention is right at the house of cure. That's my motto. What a troublesome motto. <laughs> Come on, Kay, let's get you dressed up over here, there. Okay. Okay, it's an excuse to give her more sprites right now. Now, this is this is definitely what the great theme should look like. As a monster, as a man, certainly suits you best. In the past, and now as well. You do have hard to mess with. It's for Miss Karma, I can't thank you for coming too! I, I, I only came because Graffy asked me to. Why the hell is he though? That's Graffy, he also wanted to see your energetic self again. Kami! What happened to Kami? Who knows? Maybe he was disgusted with the man who willingly threw away his prosecutor's badge. Dr. Kumshun. I must be going soon. I'll be taking these ladies in for questioning. Ah, what's going to happen to the two of them? One aided in the murder of an attorney and the other fought an autopsy 18 years ago. Those crimes definitely won't disappear. Of course, I didn't mention in court that they were being blackmailed bla by police. We'll be just fine, as long as Gwen is by my side, we're invincible. That fucking smile. See some ridiculous expressions. Well then, take care. <coughs> now then, okay. Sorry to ask you so soon right after you regained your memories, but I have some questions. Sure, ask me anything you want! What were you, what were you doing on the day you lost your memories? On that day, I was asked to come to the court, to court lake. Court lake, really. I don't know who got me there, though. I like the flow in their hair there, that's, that's a really nice shape theory. I say what's what with the moon at Court Lake? A person in a red raincoat approached me. All of a sudden, he used some kind of drug to knock me out. What? What is she saying? The place where Kay saw the moon was at Court Lake? Not on, not on top of the building, that's strange. When I woke up, it seemed like somehow I ended up in the roof of the Grand Tower. My mind was still in the day, so I stumbled around for a bit. Wait, we never established what the fuck was up with them flying... person. I saw that there was a stand by the lake, so maybe they were walking on the water or something like that. On a boat. That's when I found the person in the red raincoat collapsed. I was startled, and when, when I stepped back in panic... I fell from a high place and got knocked out cold again. Now this is interesting. And when I woke up, all my memories were gone. The person in the red raincoat. Who exactly was that person? Well, that's weird because the red raincoat was in auction. So it's a different raincoat then. Oh yeah, I was certain that I saw them walking in midair. Uh, somehow this is all starting to make my head hurt. Please calm down. You're just a little confused because you've only recently gotten your memories back. Most likely, this is the main cause of your confused memories. Mr. Two Places. This is probably the main cause of your confused memories. You saw the moon at both the Gold Lake Park and the Grand Tower rooftop. 
Which not use the ground fuel of the two places? Uh huh, but aren't they totally different places? Even if I put it in the days, you really think I'd get them there confused? Most likely there was something that the ground always left your confusion. I the I bought a tree and a stall presumably. Just the stall was necrotic. Like. And the current tower moved up and gold like have two points in common. I don't remember there was a tree there. They both have a cherry tree and a full stall. Was there a cherry tree there? Ah, don't you mention it? Your memories were confused because you had been in two similar locations. The person that you first saw could not have been walking in with there. They were simply walking on the craft at Court Lake Park. You must have gotten that scene confused with the Grand Tower rooftop. So, so that's what happened. So it was really just a red herring. <laughs> the whole walking in there. How dare they? How dare they steal the memories of a great thief? They'll pay for this. Nonetheless, I wonder who the person that assaulted Kay was. The person in the red raincoat who appeared at Court Lake. Excuse my ass. Hmm, what's that noise? It sounds like he's coming from the storm room. Mr. Edgeburg, let's go check it out. What? Oh, that was your voice. Oh, what's this? My side of accent is taking single, single me, single me, I smell me under school. Those, those, those were two separate sentences, that's why I'm confused. You're still here! <laughs> Are the boys on the big slowly? Good lord, they want to fix yours right now. Okay, so what's gone? Something will be gone. I thought there's somebody here, but that probably not anymore. Considering how slow they were walking, goodness. Transceiver. Okay, I was probably right about that being John Doe's, right? Stage breath. The walkie donkey here is, is what's beeping. In the Justice World, that's that's definitely the one John Doe used. Hmm, this transceiver. Why do I feel like I've seen it somewhere before? I, it's beeping, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm not particularly familiar with this sort of device. Come on, get the answer it. Here goes. Hello, that's for speaking. Okay, please don't just answer it on your own. Okay, but I, I gave him a really <laughs> over the top. This was. I am speaking for the Miles Edgeworth, I presume. <laughs> this voice, Sally the Killer. I congratulate you on your resolve with the case. However, can you truly say in good conscience that it has been solved? Are you aware of the mastermind who is pulling the strings behind this incident? You? Why do you know about this incident? That's not important right now, wouldn't you agree? Right now, we are discussing the mastermind behind this case. And why... why is he... What does he want to tell us that? I've had an inkling that such a person existed, even before you said anything. After all, there was evidence to su suggest that somebody had used K to disrupt the investigation. Ah, there was? So, who's the worst in mastermind? I would like to hear your thoughts on the matter. Uh, well, it's, kind of, I, I, it's kind of similar to Justine's, what the speech button, isn't it? Thoughts on the matter. Would you kindly show me the evidence that indicates the existence of a mastermind? That's good, that's one of the only things that's been spoiled in the game for is the fact that there's somebody that's got referred to as the mastermind. What's the point of this evidence of it anyways? <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that indicates the existence of a mastermind, huh? Goodness, the music slows down. <laughs> Boy, 
possibly the red dragon horse? Possibly. This. Could be one of the suns. Since I've been spoiled on the fact that there's somebody referred to as the mastermind in the game, um, I've had suspicions on various people. Uh, Courtney and the best were both definitely on the suspicion. Now though, neither of them seem, seem feeding for the bill. I suspect that Ray of it as well, um, and Mr. Master made it to his name. There's no way that the translators didn't see the obvious connection between obvious possibly terrible connection between the, that, that, but his character didn't seem quite fitting either for that. Here would be it. Could be that weird horned kid, but that's unlikely considering how old the um, place was. If it's somebody working above place, and Alba, since I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that Alba and they had to be brothers or something. I don't remember how old the place Alba was, but they have to be related. They have the same fucking hair top. I understand that it's not real hair, but there's too many similarities in the design. They both their hair, the shape they have on their hair is the same. Uh, they both have tons of metal all over. They both do the beard stalking thing in different ways, but it's far too similar. Look in here. God, there's a fly in this room. <laughs> How did that, that, that get in? I went over the window in the fucking year. How did something like that get in? Hmm. Blends in with the background too well. Might be a, one of those end case, one time, one time chance just to present the thing, but maybe not. Hmm, I can't say I really understand. I am very sorry, but I also do not understand. Uh, so this wasn't it. Was there anything that was left unexplained among the evidence? Multiple things. Ah, uh, wait, fancy mistakes, but we didn't explain this too much. We didn't explain less. Hardly this. The fact <laughs> where, the, where the weapon went was unexplained. There's ton of like, unexplained things. Okay, fuck off, fly. Mastermind, particularly. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about that. I'm sorry, I got stuck in this case. Goodness, not going well. And I appreciate it. it um, more, most of the interesting the 20 case about games are 
too easy to be honest. Dual test needs was particularly atrocious about that. Where <laughs> not only were the but not every was every single holder nixon really easy. They all tried like all the all the good all the with all the good plot twists, they just told you the answer. I did manage to figure some of the some of them out before the game just outright came and told it to me. Primarily the Hugh O'Connor one that was I was happy about figuring that one out. There were some other ones, but I don't remember what they were. I mean, I'm saying that there was an extra person, but no, no, I'm sure that was just to imply. Hmm. I mean, somebody would have had to buy this. If it was a student, and this gave us some concert, I couldn't have bought it herself, then it would have been somebody student age. Again, the horn gets come to mind, but since they're definitely relevant somehow. No. It doesn't, it doesn't say anything about Mastermind, other than that somebody was have to do it. Some of these testimonies. Oh boy, I'm sure this is not one I should catch the one. Past cases, that's strange as hell. Let's find something. Unexplained goes. This one uh, is really being not close. Again, that's not, again, at most it implies another person, but not mastermind. I'm sure he's gonna have to fucking boot for this. Mastermind. I was just going to talk about the mentor, the person in the red wing quoted case. So I said, What are we saying? That doesn't. Uh, I like how I've already presented like half the fucking evidence. <laughs> what am I overlooking here now? This evidence is really interesting and gives me a lot of theories, but I'm not sure it indicates indication the existence of a mastermind per se. The fact that this was a thing in the first man's plane is really interesting and all that, but it's not going to a mastermind necessarily. fact that the BRC was able to get the position in the tower, we got that that's that would that can be just put to bless to place. Um. Uh, why are we not getting to see Kamsu at the end of this case? I'm guessing that means that Kamsu is gonna be relevant in the next case if we're gonna not gonna get to see him at the end of and here. At this point, people have gotten it. <laughs> That's been lame as hell. Is there anything that.
place couldn't have done. What's weird is that um, that the nurse miss was clearly bo brought there, brought there uh, out of time, so Blaze expected to kill Jill. But before that, Jill was able to figure out that her place was. Can't be the fact that Phantom Masks is missing. That's a, that was just to implicate K, surely. <laughs> I'm honestly Take fucking that. out. At this point, I understand. I might just brute force it. I'm not happy about any of that. I'm happy about that. What the fuck am I overlooking here? It's the fact that uh, the PIC only recently moved to the Grand Tower. Now that 50 floor the 51st floor would have had to exist had to have existed before that. Before the PIC moved in. Yet nobody at the at the building was was able no knew about it was never was able to tell the Francisco about that, but so even before the PIC moved in the floor existed. So maybe that, that like I mean at least I don't have, I don't have some Sure, the logical to my present. I still see it presented more like half the evidence now coming out. <laughs> what am I overlooking here? The chest point being post mortem isn't. I don't see how any of this. Points to anyone but Blaze, any, anyone else, anyone above Blaze. What the fuck points to above Blaze? Are we saying that K didn't write these letters? If Blaze didn't know about them and K, and K didn't write them, because I don't think she. I'm not. Did, did, did she say that she didn't write these letters? If she didn't write these letters and Blaze didn't know about them, then that would surely implicate the mastermind. Well, thank fuck. It was the letter that Kay allegedly sent to the victim. Can I come to think of it? I still remember writing that letter. At all. I thought that she did, okay. So the point at the wrong impression here. Who could have prepared this letter? I too am quite curious to know. So, you are not the one who wrote the letter? What could I possibly gain from doing such an act? Is it not necessary for you to stand in court in order to make the truth clear? What can you possibly do now that your badge has been taken from you? I look forward to finding out from the shadows. Well, this man, how does he know that? Do we have an understanding? Please ensure you do not betray him, I trust. Does he have a micro net worth? <laughs> now then, if you'll excuse me. He said the case wasn't solved yet. What did he mean by that? And why would Mr. the Killer even bother telling us that? Uh, nothing makes sense anymore. Like, if the mastermind is, is his client, then surely he wouldn't tell us about them. Unless he feels betrayed by the client, in this case, the client is fucked. <laughs> in this case, has not reached it, has not reached its true conclusion yet. However, although I've lost my prosecutor's badge, who am, I, who, am I, who I am still has not changed. But well, I don't know where this may lead me. I shall reveal the truth. I swear it. Well, that's the end. The fact that Kamshu wasn't there for the end with Kevin and her memory is making me think that Kamshu is going to be relevant to the next case. The grand turnabout. What's that, what does that name make me think of? Spheres for some reason. Like a golden ball or something. Okay, it, the case is about the best, huh? There's no way the best is the mastermind, surely. Surely. <laughs> that'd, be a bit, that'd be quite a plus twist. Surely not. 
I said that he, he's either going to be turned out to be much smarter than he looks, in which case he will probably be the mastermind at this point, or he's going to be turned out to be an ally, or well, he's not going to get killed if he's going to be the fucking main victory, or he's going to get like kidnapped or something, if he could in some way. I'm going to cut the recording, but probably still continue. That's only half hour and 20 minutes. Sure.